Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at the Tsar, which has pretty much all but completely made the Tonkor redundant, since the Tonkor now has self-damage. This, of course, does still have self-damage, however, it does have an interesting mechanic where you can switch it between Barrage and Cannon Mode. Now, this is utilised by pressing the Alt Fire button, and basically what this actually does is in Barrage Mode you fire a Cannonball, which then explodes and releases more Cannonballs, which explode. Sadly, they don't release more cannonballs. However, due to this, because this will increase the explosive range of the weapon, I do find that using Firestorm on this weapon is somewhat redundant. Now, however, like I said, this weapon in this mode can self-damage. However, it is only the initial projectile, that one shot you actually fire. If this explodes within range of you, you will take 100% of the damage. The smaller cluster grenades will not damage you, however these also do have their own separate status and critical chance from the initial projectile. Now when you switch to barrage mode, this deals heavy, heavy damage to close targets. The damage is primarily puncture, and it does have an innate punched through. However, in barrage mode, literally anything beyond 15 meters takes no damage. So, outside of 15 meters, go for barrage and just nuke them inside 15 meters. Cannon mode is the only way to go, otherwise you're going to uh, nuke yourself. Now, there is a really interesting mechanic with this, which I'm hoping you can currently see at the moment, and that is the actual reload. You only reload one round at a time, and the reload can be interrupted. So, once you load one round, you can then fire that one round. So, as long as you do have a round, you can interrupt the reload. And the reload stat that is shown on the weapon in your arsenal is the time it takes to reload every round. So if you increase the magazine, this will also increase your reload time. So quite simple, really. It's, uh, it did confuse me at first, I'm pretty sure it's confused a lot of people. But increasing the magazine will increase your reload time, because that is the time shown for you to reload everything. Now, this does have an average critical chance, however it has a slightly above average critical multiplier, which does make it very viable for a crit build. So if you want to go for that, that is absolutely fine. However, I personally haven't really put too much effort into crit. I've tried to go more for multi-shot and status chance. I do have a rhythm for it, which does have status chance on it. But I need to re-roll it because I would like multi-shot and status chance. Possibly also raw damage or if I, if I can be bothered to try and go for the ultimate row I'd go for a little bit of crit as well. However as you can see this literally just has a point strike on my build. It is critting absolutely fine. It's not too non-critty if that's even a word but as, as a whole this build, this weapon in general is very very viable for a hybrid build. I would recommend if you're planning on taking this into late game, try to go more towards the status side as that EHP effect of area damage is so much more useful than just seeing high numbers. High numbers are not always the be all and end all. Yes, they look pretty and it does actually add up to the fact that, well, you've still got to take out their health bar, but taking out their armor or other various procs are a lot more important as well. So, in general, this weapon is actually pretty darn amazing. It's completely up to you how you would like to build it. I do recommend, though, at least trying to get a bit of status on there. Just one, because of the area effect, that's multiple, multiple procs as well as EHP effects for late game and to be honest if you add in things like radiation or even just the, the innate blast this weapon has that is a hell of a lot of CC heading downwind towards 
towards the enemy. So, what am I using as a build? Serration, Heavy Calibre, Split Chamber, Malignant Force, High Voltage, Thermite Rounds, Point Strike, and of course my Rhythm Mod, which like I said has Status Chance, and it's got a bonus to Infested and Grenier Damage. Anyway, that's me, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ra!